Daryl, come on, we're starting, I'm waiting on you. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on, hold on. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We're so happy that you tuned in for the tour of the Tolleson Life Home on Wheels, the 2020 Tiffin Allegro bus. So this is the RV that we will be full-time and touring the country in. And because we're gonna take you along with us, we wanted to show you firsthand mm -hmm. and up close how we're getting there. To get things started, Daryl is gonna take you on a tour of the outside, and then I will see you back in a minute when we tour the inside. Awesome. Let's get started. Okay, a quick look at our 2020 Allegro bus. The first thing I want to show you are the three awnings uh, that are made by Gerard. And the first one is the awning over the door. And these are the two main awnings. And uh, even though we lose some of the covering due to the uh, slide outs, they still extend pretty far out from the side of the coach and together they extend almost the full length of the bus. And they do have wind sensors and they're supposed to close on their own if they detect some high winds. Now one push to the remote and we'll close them up. And here's the passenger side of the bus. This is the Fire Opal paint scheme. Now let's take a quick look in the rear. And you may wonder, hey, that's only half the ladder. Well, the lower half is right there. Actually keep it in storage. And there's the Blue Ox tow bar system that we use to tow the vehicle behind us. And now a quick look on the driver's side. It looks pretty much like the passenger side. Now for the details, beginning at the front, where we find the diesel Cummins owning generator. Uh, this is the start button. You have several more starting sources, uh, or access to starting sources on the inside. And if you're not familiar with RVs, the generator will help give you power to your rig when you're not connected to shore power. So it allows you to camp off the grid, if you will. Now to close it, just a little push. And in order to save some time, I've already opened all the cargo bay doors to show you some of the stories that we spoke about earlier. Beginning with bay number one, you can option in a small refrigerator slash freezer that slides out right here in this particular bay. And this one didn't have it, and I'm glad because we needed more storage space, more so than a, another small fridge or freezer. And here is bay number two. And here is one of two large storage bays. And these slide out trays happen to be powered. Just hit the out button here. Man, I was looking for those pliers. I wonder what I did with them. And you can see there's ample room here to put things. And here is the second storage bay with a power tray. And don't judge how I have things stored here. Trust me, it'll be different <laughs> in a week. Right here is the in and out switch for this one. Now we'll take it back in. And you can operate these on the passenger side as well as the driver's side. And here's another smaller bay. I just have some of the leveling blocks in there, some extra chairs, the Blue Ox braking system. 
and some other miscellaneous items in there. And the next bay is where the holding tanks are located. Here's the 100 gallon gray tank. This is the 55 gallon black tank and this is the 100 gallon fresh water tank. Okay, moving on. Another small storage area. And in this compartment is where the chassis batteries are located. And by chassis, again, if you're new to RV, these are the batteries that actually start the engine. And this is a battery disconnect if you ever store it, which we don't have to worry about. Oh, and I forgot to show you the outside LG Smart TV with a sound bar. Uh, we watch very little TV, but when I do, I usually prefer to be outside. And inside of this small panel is the access to the residential refrigerator. It's where you can turn off your ice maker, your water line to your ice maker when you're winterizing it. Again, don't have to be too concerned about that. And back here in the back, this is what makes it go. This is where the 450 horsepower Cummins diesel engine is located. Just open these up. I'm fairly mechanically inclined, but I don't plan on doing any servicing to this beast. I think I'll let the pros handle that. Check out how large that exhaust is. And here's the transmission check and feel, uh, the oil dipstick, the oil feel, the power steering, coolant check, the fuel filter. Okay, to the driver's side. Uh, right here is our 10 gallon death tank. And I've been topping this off at about every uh, 1,000 miles. And so far it appears to be burning just over three gallons for every 1,000 miles. And this Tiffin model has the side radiator, which I'm told helps this engine to run even cooler due to the airflow. And in this compartment is the 50 amp power cord. Uh, and that's a little towel I use to help keep it clean when I roll it back in. And it's on a power reel, and I found that to really be convenient. Oh, and by the way, this rig has the 315 ADR 22.5 Michelin tires on them. Very large and, uh, and I'm sure very expensive. And here is the wet bay. That's the water filtration system for the entire coach. Here's the outside shower. There's the black tank flush and some levers here that allow you to fill the fresh water tanks or use the city water that you may be connected to. More levers for hot and cold up there. Here's your water pump if, when you're not hooked up to a water source. Here's your water hose, which is also on an electric reel. And again, I've grown to like it, man. It's uh, really convenient. The black tank pull valve, gray tank pull valve. Here's the water pump that's very accessible if you need to service it. Oh, and I like this feature as well. You can check your house battery from the outside here. You can check your fresh water level, which is showing 50%, along with the gray tank showing 57%, uh, the black tank showing 43% full. Here's a little hand wash with some paper towels. And the next bay is the Aqua Hot system. This is our first experience with the Aqua Hot, and so far so good. This is a system that provides you with hot water helps heat your furnace, and can also preheat the engine on those cold mornings. And this is a monitor where you can get some information about how the system is performing. And now we're simply on the driver's side of those two large bays with the slide out trays. And again, as mentioned before, you can operate these on either side of the coach. And here's another look at some of the space you have here up under this chassis. This is the house battery and inverter disconnect. And again, that's for if you put it in storage, along with a breaker panel. And that's the inverter. And next we have the bay with the six house batteries, which are on a slide, makes it more convenient for you to service them. And that's the hydraulic system, which is also on the slide, and that operates the two main slides as well as the leveling jacks. 
And in the last bay, we have more breakers, slide overrides. And the rig also has its own air compressor, should you have some floats or bicycle tires or something you might need to put some air in. And that handle right there is what opens the front of the RV where we started, uh, so you have access to the generator. This is the fuel fill. There's one on this side, as well as one on the passenger side. And that is a quick look of our house on wheels from the outside. Now let's move to the inside where Clay is standing by. Okay, Clay, you ready for us? Absolutely, come on in. We're so glad to have you on this tour. Let's begin by showing you an overview of our living space. As you can see, the opposing slides really create some nice space. Moving to the driver's side of the coach, or as we call it, the living room area, we have the ultra leather recliner, which by the way is Daryl's favorite spot. Beside that is a large hide-a-bed sofa, so under the cushion is an air mattress that opens out to a bed for extra sleeping capacity. By the way, the color of our leather interior is called Gray Owl, just in case you're wondering. And here is our ottoman, which contains a little storage area under the top. Above the sofa and recliner, we have cabinet space that extends the full length of the slide out. And just FYI, the wood color is called Glaze Canyon Cherry. And we think Tiffin does a great job with adding beautiful wood trim throughout their coaches that really adds a feel of home. In the midsection, we have our LG Smart TV, which is one of four throughout the coach. There is also an electric fireplace that sits below it. And let me say, this electric heater does a great job in putting out some great heat. Moving to the passenger side, or as we call it, the kitchen area. We have an extendable dinner table that also doubles as a computer workstation, which is where you can find me most of the days during the week. It has a closable tray for your laptop, if you move the cords, of course. And down below, we have another sliding tray where our printer and our copier is located, along with more cabinet space under the table. And remember, we said the dinette is ex expandable, so it slides out to create more table space if needed. Above the dinette area, we have additional cabin space. Moving to the kitchen counter area where we have polished solid surface countertops, and this is called the expanded island, which creates even more counter space if needed with a deep storage drawers. Close that back. And this is our two burner induction cooktop, which is something new for us. And I have quickly grown to absolutely love this cooktop. This thing is quick. In fact, I read that induction cooks 50% quicker than gas and is much more efficient. And so far I am convinced of it. This is very nice. Under the cooktop, we have a dishwasher, which we use for storing kitchenware since we hand washed a few dishes that we use. And below the dishwasher is a drawer, which we use for kitchen items. Here we have the stainless steel double bowl sink with in-sink drying racks. Below the sink, we have storage for our dishwashing supplies. And then a large under sink sliding tray, which is where we keep the garbage can along with other kitchen supplies. And above the sink, we have a sliding cabinet stainless steel convection microwave,
more cabinet space, three more little drawers that are also useful. And here we have our residential refrigerator like we had at the house with double doors and freezer at the bottom. Right next to that, we have a, pa a pull-out pantry where we keep the rest of our cooking products. And this is our 10 in spider control system screen where you can control just about everything in the coach, including all the lights, both inside and outside, the energy management, your three air conditioners, your two furnaces, as well as the aqua hot system and the heated floors throughout the bus. The slide outs are also controlled here. The day and night shades. And lastly, the fans, the cargo bay locks and the entry door lock. Now I wanna take you to the cockpit. Located in the dash, you can see two large screen. The left contains the radio, the navigation system, satellite radio, as well as outside cameras. And the monitor on the right is just for the rear and side cameras. We also have what is called the advanced monitor system. This is a small monitor for the passengers so that they can assist the driver with navigation. It also has access to three camera feeds as you can see right here. Above the cockpit, we have some more cabinet space, the JBL system, another LG Smart TV, and more cabinet space. Next, the bathroom. As you can see, we have a solid surface double vanity top with glass bowls, medicine cabinet with vanity lights over each sink, and storage space for underneath. A solid surface shower with a glass door, a seat if needed, and that is our skylight. And here is our roof fan, an electric flush toilet, a storage area, and a water sprayer to keep the area clean. Above that, we have a small cabinet. And to conclude the tour, let me show you our bedroom. As you walk in, you see that we have another electronic fireplace. Above is a bedroom window. We also have another LG Smart TV with a lift, and I'll show you how that works. Push this button right here, and the TV appears. On each side of the fireplace are two closet cabinets that we use for clothing storage. The bed is a power smart king size bed with a memory foam mattress. With a push of a button, you can raise or lower the bed. Above the bed is a ceiling fan and more cabinet space. At the closet entrance, we have a full-length mirror on the wall and one on the closet door. And here is the walk-in closet. The clothes rack extends the width of the bus. As you can see, it is packed. So much so that Daryl added some temporary reinforcements because of the clothes rack was pulling away from the ceiling. Also in the closet is another cabinet and several drawers, as well as the washer and dryer.
Well, that covers it for the tour of our bus. You know, we, we covered a lot of stuff today. We sure did. Uh, but if you saw something in the tour or something you didn't see in the tour and you have a question about it, make sure you leave it down in the comments and we'll be sure and get back to you and try to answer it. If we don't have the answer, we'll certainly try to get it for you. So uh, again, we have more content coming. We want to show you how easy it is to set up camp in one of these and break down camp for that yep. matter. So stay tuned. So if you like the video, smash that like button. Yeah, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.